good morning to all today we are going to discuss about nano science and nano materials what is nano yes nano is nothing it is the very smallest material that is the size nanometers or materials whose grain size is order of 101 to 100 nanometers which is very smaller in size in which the grain size has been reduced and they are seeing in a nano science so nano means it is nothing but 10 to the power minus 9 nanometer is 1000 millionth of a meter so which is very smallest material in which n number of research has been going in our day-to-day -day life and n number of people are working in nano materials around the world so in depth we are, we are just see what is nano to understand how small one nanometer let us see some few comparison in our human body, we will having a red blood corpuscles that is approximately 7000 nano. We have, we have one red blood corpuscle, which the size will be 7000 nanometer. A water molecule will be 0 0.3 nanometer. So, this is nothing but an sim image of an human ha hair. So, it is 80,000 nanometers wide. There are different forms of nano in which they can prepare the material. The best wide example will be graphene was the best material in nano the different forms of nano materials will be nano dots nano wires nano tubes carbon nanotubes that is cnt so this is what the three different st structures of carbon nanotubes clusters the first the nano technology which was uh, invented by a scientist called rich and feynman uh, he had uh, given a statement there was a plenty of uh, things in a room so he had given two approaches will be top down approaches and bottom up approaches so the it is nothing but making the things into a bulk size material a very small size material bottom up is nothing but a very small materials into a bulk size material so here they are taking a bulk material and they are making into a powder part and a particle then again it has been crushed into making a nanoparticle then making it as cluster and making it a size in an atom bottom up is nothing but making a smaller size material into a bulk material so bottom up the same process which has a reversible process right so the preparation of nanometal can be done by different methods physically it will be physical method and as well as chemical method right so physical method consists of two techniques it is ball milling and sputtering of operation chemical methods will be electro deposition chemical reaction and chemical vapor deposition so this are the way in which we are making the nano materials as we really told uh, nano rods nano dots clusters so the nano materials which are prepared by this methods so the first technique we are going to say is ball milling so ball milling is nothing but uh, it is a, a technique to make the uh, powder science and very um, uh, in nano size uh, so it will be uh, the cost of the instrument will arrow uh, 1.5 lakhs so here we will be having a alloy alloy balls in which you are making the powder into a very fine sizes that is a 10 to the power minus 9 physical vapor de deposition it is nothing but another method to get a metal metal as a nano plates we will getting a nano plates using this material a, a, a material has been taken and thus a, by having an evaporation technique you will be having a substrate by thing you will be making a thin films so by by this technique they are preparing nano materials so chemical vapor deposition it is also like physical vapor deposition by giving reactive gases they will be separating a nano thin planes thin flames so we'll be in day to day life we are seeing n number of nan nano material data life so it has a physical property so the physical property will be the particle size is very small so that interatomic space is very less they are high strength so we are, when we are comprising the size of a material grain size the stability of a material will be increasing so they are high strength so it does not have any dislocation in it the melting point is very less so even the grain size has been reduced even the metal will be melting at very low temperature at very high temperature the nanometer will be exic and super elastic property 
the melting point will be decreases when the material when the grain size of the metal will be increasing the melting point will be decreasing the amount of materials of the non magnetic substance exhibit Man, even the nano metals will exhibit magnetic property so the mechanical coming from mechanical property the first property will be high strength so as i told the grain size plays a vital role in nano so the, when the grain size is very low they have very high strength the hardness depend upon the grain size of the material stability changes with grain size elastic behavior is very small plastic behavior is very high so the nano material which have the mechanical good mechanical property and magnetic property so this all some of the example and how which are they behaving in bulk as well as the nano form that is a cluster as well as bulk so these are the examples so coming for the application so nano technology which find a n number of application is day to day life whatever the things we will be using which is comes under nano in in 1990s 80s we will be using a a computer which will be which is occupied a very large space now you will be using in your mobiles in a, a handy thing right so this is all nothing but invention of nano technology nano science and nano technology is making the things very small in size so the innovative application on nano technology energy medicine and drugs nano technology nano technology nano devices optical energy defense security bioengineering cosmetics nano fibers so this is what the application of nano particles so i'm going to see for a particular department how the nano metals has been using in day to day life so it is very small which is used for antennas um, will be sending a rockets to a, will be sending satellites using rockets they will be using antenna so due to advancement of nano you making the things very small in size they used to make filter switches signal processing purpose to make small permanent magnet for energy storing devices you know even the mobile phone we are using will be having a capacity of under 120 gb but before in olden days it will occupy a huge space but now we have 120 gb memory card will be occupying a very 1 cm of space solar cell and fuel cell so this are what the antennas which will be using in day to day life in electronic communication in antennas tvs in automobile industry the antennas which is used which is nanotechnology and the electronic devices which will be using in the day to day life it is made up of the silicon oxide so this is what the element which will be used in fed images it's a nano particle in solar cell so as we know solar plate solar cell as we we have seen in our college we will be placing a solar plates what the efficiency right so we, when we going with nano technology it will be it will be block by very small in size as well as it will store n number of energy and it will convert it into an electrical uh, energy so nano in battery as i told in uh, energy storage device it will occupy lo large space now in due to advancement of nano the energy storing has been become very as yes, the space has become very less in robotics uh, for spice purpose on everything for a medical every uh, spying the thing for monitoring certain things we'll be using nano robots so in it it is used to make memory devices mobile chips whatever the thing the electronics uh, gadgets which we we'll be using data life it is made up of nano technology it is used to make semiconductor lasers ah uh, so this is what uh, when you say motherboard of a computer in which it is made up of the nano technology so nano in semiconductor laser as we discussed in our uh, crystal physics lasers how we are generating lasers by placing in nano materials in cds chips everything in biotechnology so the one of the vast application would be in biotechnology to make an artificial human bones dna chips sensor to detect biology and chemical radioactive elements uh, so this is what a bone has been made in a uh, ma made with using of nanotechnology Art this is a artificial bones in chemical industry that is fillers for point system coating system based on nano composites magnetic fluids uh, in magnetic coatings and all we will be using a car right uh, when you kept in the when i kept a car in an uh, sunny days the heat will be very 
high inside the car so for that we'll be using a nano coated paints which will reflect the heat and does not allow the heat to flow inside the very important application will be nano nano in medical field it be drug delivery active agents medical rapid test antibacterial agents in cancer therapy to modify neuron network everything so so this is what in drug delivery for example with the person is affected with an cancer so there the patient has been injected with an nano robots and the, it has been the drug has been sent with them so this is what the micro camera and the payload the capacity every the nano robots so it will just destroy the cancer cell and remove the cancer cell over here so this is what the drug delivery and or how the capturing so to modify the human body so we will just the dna structure everything in neural texture which can be modified using this nano materials so application so the quick skin disease as cosmetic cream finding and killing bacteria virus it will prevent heart attack kill cancer to monitor potential dangerous microorganisms in the ocean so the nanotechnology which has a wide application as we know we will be getting a advertisements in day to day life so we will be using nanotechnology in the materials cosmetics so nano fibers so both items coated in nano sized bit or resist dirt allergens and even break down harmful pollution it does not wear the skin so using this nanotechnology even the moisture the air dust particles which is not allow inside the body so the material will rest the dust particle so in automotive industry light weighting construction painting catalyst sensor so the benefit of technology nanotechnology and transportation more efficient thermal barrier battery fuel technology wear resistance improved display high temperature sensor high strength high lightweight composite for increasing fuel efficiency and sensor so this is what the different types of sensors which we use gold nano particle lung cancer oxygen detection and reactive oxygen species nano sensor for environment monitoring health monitoring cosmetic as i told earlier we'll be seeing a number of advertisement but it is used with nanotechnology so sun protection cream toothpaste everything will be using with nanotechnology so this are some of the example in home made whatever the thing will be using in day to day life it is with nanoscience and technology thank you all